What's up, guys? Welcome back to Gentry and Sons. Hope you guys are having a great day. So we are having a, actually, we're having a magnificent day today on this fine, sunny day. It is 85 degrees out. The grass is growing. We've done talked about that in one of our last videos. Grass is growing. Spring's here. Um, summer's on its way. It is going to be hot. So Braxton this year has decided he's going to start a lawn mowing business. He's already got him some yards. He mowed one yesterday. So I bought a bad boy lawnmower, what, like three or four years ago? Mm -hmm. And Braxton loves that lawnmower. He's been wanting to buy it from me. Um, and, you know, guys, he's been saving all of his money from his truck. He hasn't been spending any of the money other than he's bought some RC stuff. And, uh, you know, kept his maintenance up. He's done really, really good with his truck. So this year I told him, if you do good, save your money. We'll get you a good lawnmower. Well, my buddy down here at Athens Lawn and Garden, um, I talked to him and he's like, get Brax down here and let's just show him what we got. Let's see if we can't get him took care of and get him mowing right. So we're about to pull in, here it is. Athens Lawn and Garden. And anytime that I've dealt with these guys, they always have the best, ooh, they got Ferris's. Ooh, I didn't realize they had Ferris mowers here. Um, they got Bobcat, Ferris, Huskies. There's, dang, they got a little bit of everything, looks like. Mm. Oh, look at that big one right there. It's huge. Big giant one. I wonder if they got any 72-inch cutters. <gasps> but if he's going to start mowing commercially and, um, you know, we're doing it every day. We got him a trailer. He's got him a little mini truck now to pull it around with and most of the yards that he got that he's got are huge they're like huge the one that he's mowing right now is what like 10 acres yeah <laughs> so he's got a 10 acre yard and this thing grows like crazy and the man that owns it is very very particular about it but he's willing to pay him 300 dollars every two weeks to mow it so he could pay for a really nice lawnmower and have it paid for in one season if he just has five yards. So um, we're gonna go in here and look at some. Ooh, them Ferrises are nice. That's a Ferris there, yeah. Man, I've always wanted one of those. Look at the suspension right there. Yeah, it's got full suspension all the way around it. I don't know if they had Bobcat. Yeah, I think Bobcat just started. I'm not sure how long they've been. That's a steel. There's a Ferris. There's Huskies. Uh, Bobcats. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's like walking into heaven. Like walking into heaven. Hey. Should I this? Yeah, that's the steel. That's just, I think Ferris builds the steels. Jump on that bad boy and see what you think. I'd say it looks comfortable. It's got all four suspension. Jump up there. Three year, 1500 hour warranty. Big tally on it. It has two fuel tanks? You think you can handle a big bad boy like that? Wow. Oh, they're easy. Probably get a lot of mowing at the farm with that, huh? They got a lot of little ride mowers too, like the old style. There's a snap. They got snappers. Oh, Braggs, look at this thing. I wonder if they get one of these in 72. It's the Vanguard. They got a diesel one. Check out the idle thing. Okay, turn the press button. I like this one. Like that one? That's one I like. 
seen some of these right here. What? What lines? I've seen them rot on bones. Yeah. Ooh, that one's huge down here. Yep. That, oh, that's, that's a big bobcat there. Big bobcat. Oh, it's this one. 35 horsepower. Right here. There's a couple right here. Hey, look, it has a turbo. Yep. Nice you like the Bobcat ones or the Ferris? Look, these got that new speed pedal. These things run like 24 miles per hour. This is nice. I like this. You like it? Yeah. So it's between the Bobcat and the Ferris? You got the Huskies? Wow, All right, so. I can't believe this. They do have the big engine 72 here. Nobody has this lawnmower. Literally nobody. I've looked everywhere just to be able to demo one, just try it out, see how much power it's got, see how it runs. So what we're looking for, as well as Braxton being able to mow some big yards, because literally the three customers he has has huge yards. One of them's 10 acres. And we have a 100 acre farm that's gonna to need to be taken care of and mowed. And um, so we definitely want one that's big enough to do some serious mowing. So we're waiting on the man to get out here and uh, he's gonna show us some lawnmowers. Oh crap, there it is, Brax. There's the 72 inch. Look at this thing. This thing's supposed to run 20 something miles per hour. Can you imagine mowing at 20 mile an hour? So look, it's got, when you're going, you hit this button right here, or this with your foot, and it like super speeds it up. What is that thing? Looks like a dually. That's a dually lawnmower. Oh, here's that. Whatever it is, it sounds like a beast. He ain't got no bills other than to take care of his truck, so he gets to save all his money. Well, hey, it must be nice. Hey, enjoy it while you can. I'm telling you, once you get them women, they take it. Yep, they're, it's going after you get the woman. So which one do you want to try out? I'm telling you, Brax, that thing right there is wicked. This one? You want to try it? Yeah. So when you hop on, throttle it up, drop your parking brake, pull them levers in, help you sit. See that? You can go right back through there. There's grass that goes back and comes back down. How fast will that thing go? 20 something? Um, about 20, 22. If you GPS it with that speed control button. I've even seen some of them about 24. Yeah. That's getting things done. This is the first one I've ever had to back off of because it's scared. <laughs> that lawnmower. <Yeah. laughs> that thing lawnmower's yeah. like. Oh, he just crunk her up. Oh, he's going to mow. Dude, it is nice having this spot to demo with, yeah. ain't it? Yeah. Man, you're the only person that's got big inventory, though. Well, we try. I mean, you, Daddy always taught me you can't sell it if you ain't got it. It's crazy. He's got one, it's uh, $650 a month. Yeah. Hey, go out through there, just go straight back. 
and hit that button. Turn it all the way forward, and as you're going, push that thing down. And hang on. And hang on, yeah. Because I'm telling you, it's going to go. Open it up. What? It's a lot faster now. It's a lot faster now. Yeah. yeah. Go through there and push it as far as they go. Yeah, and you gotta, what you do is put them arms out as far as they go and then step on that pedal, son, she'll kick in. Okay. Go straight back to that corner and then turn around and come back. He does all right for 10 years old. Oh, he does have them semi trucks too. Oh, yeah, that thing will fly. It's hard to hold, ain't it? All right, what's your honest opinion about it? Well, good well, now, opinion. You notice how, how it's jarring and you shaking you with them? Now, let's go try one down here that won't do that. Here, you drive it down there. I told him if, if he'll take care of himself now, instead of the way I did my body my whole life, you know, he won't be 32 years old and it takes an hour to get out of bed and get moving. And Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I kind of bunged, uh, bunged myself up playing high school ball. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it, but looking back on it, if I knew it was going to affect me for the rest of my life, I probably would have just said, okay, yeah, maybe swimming ain't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did the same thing. I wrecked my motorcycle real bad uh -huh. uh, in 2019, and I got wide open after uh, after it happened. And she told me, she said, "You need to be in physical therapy as much as you can, because if not, you're going to regret it when you get older." Yeah. Well, I'm regretting the heck out of it. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, the physical therapy. It's rough. Was the worst part of my. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I blew my knee out, and uh, if you'd have told me two degrees was enough to make a man cry, it can be. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, you ready to drive this thing out? Yeah. Now they say the Ferris is the Cadillac of the lawnmowers. Oh, it's uh, oh, it's already got a kid. Yeah, it is. It is. It really is. I'll be honest with you. The great piece of machinery, uh, great company to deal with, but you just can't beat the ride. Now I like the fuel injected forty horsepower. Oh yeah. injection that seen his face light up. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. Like... Dude, that motor sounds like a beast. How's your experience been with selling the Ferris? Is you? Oh, it's been great. I mean, I, we've sold them now since 1996. Uh, been a great company. I mean, they stand behind their products. They stand behind their dealers. Uh, you know, it's easier to sell something than you believe. Crap. You know, and you believe in it, so it's easier to sell. Um, oh, and then it's also nice when they stand behind you as right. a dealer. You know, if something goes wrong, they take care. That's really important. That's true. Sounds like a beast, don't it? Yeah. Take it out through there. Let me see you go come back. Yeah. Turn it wide open. When you turn around, crank up the blades and just go out and come back. Yeah. You can see that it's smooth.
I think he's done decided on the Ferris. I think so, but his eyes lit up pretty. I hope he wants to buy both of them. <laughs> So what's your thoughts, Ferris or Bobcat? You got comfort and speed. This one's still fast and it seems a lot stronger. I, I, I think this one. Think this one? Yeah. Well, do you think you can go negotiate a deal with this man? Yeah. Looks like a hard man to strike a deal with. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's tough. I'm, I, I think so, you know. You seen how hard it was to sell it to him. <laughs> <laughs> No, guys, I got to thank our boys down here, Athens Lawn and Garden, for taking care of us on this deal. So Braxton did choose the Ferris, I'm assuming. Yep, that's what we're taking home. He already had his mind made up, but he did want to try them all out. And uh, it's nice to be able to come down and demo them and actually see what you're buying and feel what you're buying and, and all that stuff. And look at the inventory. Dude, that's a lot of lawnmowers. At various three, four, five hundred, you know. Yeah. Uh, but like I say, you know, can't sell them if you ain't got them. Um, we pump them out as much as we can. Uh, but this is a this is a sales like this really. I, I mean yeah. a lot to me. Yeah. I've got kids myself, and to see a young man like that willing to get out there and hustle and make him a living, it's just it's nice to see that they're still out there. I hope he stays at it. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I really do. Well, this is how they do it. Is yeah. Is get them interested, get them involved, and. I mean, you know how, many how many ten year olds is buying a? You know how many ten year olds buy a twenty thousand dollar lawnmower? They ain't That's many. They ain't many at all. They ain't many at all. But yet again, you know, you get out there and work. That's what that's what work gets you. It is. It is. It, it gets is. You the rewards. Hey, yesterday he toughed it out with that. So the bad boy, that thing's been through. Sure. It's been through. When we bought it, you know, it was what we could buy at the yeah. time, and I mean, it's a good lawnmower, but. It's beat all the crap. The guy, it was commercial, and uh, so we've been we fixed it up a little bit. That thing, that the big yard that he's got is rough. Is it? It, it is, and it was throwing us all over the place. <laughs> he said, "Dad, I'm done with it. I'm buying me a new one." I said, "All right, I'm, I'm game with that." Game with that, yeah. Heck yeah. So do you do the same thing to raise it up? Yep. Yeah, you just push it, push it all the so, way down, so and if you want to, let's try this first. Now our seat's adjustable. See if it's just all the way. So try to pull yourself over. There. Oh, there you go. Now you can reach it a little better. So what you do is you push all the way in, and this thing's spring loaded. So when it gets to the right position, it'll kick over and hold itself. Push it in. Push her hard. You got baby. it? There you go. Boom. So that locks her in. And then you just use your pin and change your cut and height wherever you like it. Yeah, so I, that'd be full. So that's the full increments here? Yes, sir. And then there's your... Yeah, so we got full increments, quarter-inch increments, half-inch increments, three-quarter. So, for example, two, two-and-a-quarter, two-and-a-half, two-and-three-quarter, three, so on and so forth. Now, once you find what you like, you press in again on that pedal, and then take your arm and kick that lever out to the right. Just push on it towards me. There you go. Now, let go with your foot. Perfect. You done uh, it. You're in business. Yeah. And this thing got a seat belt and all that on it. You have to wear the thing yeah. when you're mowing. Now, listen, this thing is extremely safe as long as you follow those certain procedures. One, we got to keep that roll bar up. We got to keep that seat belt on. And I'll be honest with you, you are safe. You, I mean, you're as safe as you can be on that thing. But with that roll bar up, now with that roll bar down and our seat belt not on, you know, we put ourselves at more risk. And I'll be honest with you, I'm sure if you were like my daddy would not want me to put myself at no risk. Yep. It ain't worth it. Nope, it is now, definitely not worth it. For your seat, it looks like you're sitting a little straight up and down. So your seat is adjustable right here. So let's crank this back a little bit so you can swing back a little bit. Now you feel how it lays back a little bit? Now your arms are adjustable. Let's put, so let's put the arm right there. See how they're going so far? If we didn't want them to go that far. See these little knobs right here? Since 
security kind of keeps me engaged and makes me know that I'm you know I'm not gonna be falling nowhere and then I don't think at 10 you will have many back problems but it also has a lumbar support <laughs> so it's gonna lean back in the seat and you'll feel it. There, there'll be a little bubble comes out in your back you feel that little bubble that's called lumbar support you just do it with this little lever here if you like it better leave it that way if you don't just pull it back Oh no, there's no wagon. Hey, this doesn't have a spot you can hook a wagon there. Yeah, they've got hitches you can buy. Yeah. Right, right here on this back bar. Yeah. Okay, we uh, definitely need one of those. Yes, sir. No problem. And uh, basically, it's going to be flat plate, four bolts. So you sandwich two of those bars, yep. and you can either mount it higher or mount it lower. And then, uh, you know. He's got him a wagon that he goes around fixes his fence and stuff with at oh, the this thing, farm. This thing will pull anything you want it to. Uh, I mean, you don't want to pull for long, but I've had people, their truck gets stuck and they pull their truck out of a ditch with their lawnmower. Oh, yeah. 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 The, the bad boy's been known to do some, <laughs> do some pretty crazy hey, stuff. When the opposite's in a ditch, you got to get back. Yep. Uh -huh. So are we Ferris people or are we Bobcat people? I think this one. All right. Well, I think it's a great decision. I do. Ferris you got to work and pay for this thing, so it's your, it's your lawnmower. Feel comfortable driving it down there, loading it up. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right, boy, you good to go? Yeah. Now you can put your tires on your bad boy too. So I would use that one for the big yards, and your bad boy for the rough yards. There you go. We got that rough stuff, getting them fields and, and that uh, back forty where nobody sees. Let it eat. Yeah, take care of that thing. All right, guys. So this is Chad. If you need to get a hold of him, he's here at Athens Lawn and Garden. What was your, what's the best way to get a hold of you, I guess? Uh, either phone call, 423-745-9296, uh, or email um, chad, uh, ALG at comcast.net. Heck yeah. So I'll put that down in the comments and uh, in the description. But, man, this has been awesome. Been a good experience. Thank and you, I appreciate you I taking appreciate, care yeah, of us. Appreciate y'all. And, uh, Brax, you good to go? Man's paid. Cracks, thanks you, buddy. Hey, appreciate it. Hey, if his check bounces, it's hard. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, man. Man, I appreciate it, and we'll uh, we'll definitely be hollering at you for services and all that stuff. I'm sure. Uh, um, I just paid for this gas in my card, by the way. Yeah. Where's your card? You huh? Know where it's at? Uh, I, I know where it is, but uh, I can't use it. Why? Uh, apparently if I have like uh, 30 or like 50 or less, I can't use it and I have like $50 on it. Mama took the money off of it? She actually never put it on there. No. She probably, probably hide it from me if I didn't. <laughs> she told me flat out you got a lot more to pay for it, buddy. I can buy a lot of this. Yeah, you can. It's a big tank. I don't know. I bet it don't get that big old motor. Motor. I don't know how good a fuel miles is going to get. Doing the manager thing, smell all that? Yep. You gonna go try it out? Yeah. Let's go. I think I'm more excited than he is. <laughs> I am more excited than he is, boys. Big smile on his baby. Look at this big boy. <laughs> well, we've got a lot of crap to mow here. Oh, wait, yeah. I think between that one and the bad boy, surely to gosh, we can Where keep it. This thing, they say it cuts the time in half from a 60 inch. Um, I bet. I got a 54. It takes me. The bad boy's 60. It takes me three hours to do it all cost if I do it all at once. About three hours. Yeah. Brax has already got two yards that pay $600 a month. It's probably too big for a small yard. Well, I'm going to. You try to trade him my bad boy for it. <laughs> my bad boy's a good mower. We got down there. They said, here, Brax. Give him the keys, and he took off on that bobcat. Now, that thing will fly. That bobcat was fast, but it wasn't near as comfortable as this thing. I wanted something that, that. wouldn't beat us to death. Spring shocks. Oh, Braxton's job is to mow every week. 
everywhere. Here, the... Yeah, Brad. This right here would take about an hour to do that now. I bet we're gonna be surprised how good this one does. Good with that boy? You need to move that reefer. You're getting ready to put that thing back on taters. How much are you going to charge me to mow the farm over here every week? By all of this? Yeah, it's all got to be mowed. Just this whole for ninety dollars, heck yeah, deal. Check on it. Deal. Ninety dollars. We got a deal, buddy. Daddy's gonna help you price your next yard though. Crazy, ain't it? Braxy, Braxy, Braxy. He ain't even trying out his mower. He's more interested in moving a trailer. Oh, now hit it hard. Hit it, hit it, hit it. There you go. Not that hard, but <laughs> that'll work. Thank you, beast. Is that crazy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look how good it mows. You broke the gauge. Which gauge you break? Ah, she just an old work truck. Hook her up, take a trailer down and park it. 
Brax, I think you lost your lawnmower to Papa there, bud. Hear me? He done took off with it. Is that one that sucks? Go back to work. It's a, no, that thing sucks, don't it? Oh, I guess it's old. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I can do it. We gotta get this. We need to get one of those handles from SH Tube. You see them dolly handles they got? The stainless ones? Did you see them? Or you could be one of them uh, electric ones. Yeah, I've seen them ones near the bathroom at Matt's you put on it. Oh yeah. It's already went up a lot. Shouldn't need much, much. That's enough. Mm. He's moved. Yeah. Go push your trailer brakes in. Just remember this valve on this one sticks sometimes. Well, looks like Braxton bought his papa a new mower. <laughs> Holy crap, dad is enjoying that thing. Look at the mowing on it though. That grass looks beautiful. And this is field grass. So our plan is to make this whole front deal, this whole front is all gonna be mowed. I'm thinking about putting a double wide right over there kind of like leveling that off right in there that way if i ever sell it or rent it out or whatever so we've got this place which is where dad lives and i'll probably end up when me and my wife build our house over here and we move out of the double wide later on in life um let him have the new one and then rent this one out but we can level that out over there and make it a, a nice place fence it in and that way it's not out in the middle of the field. Say one day I decide to sell it or something or deed it off. That way it's not affecting the rest of the property. My wife wants her house right up on top of that hill up there. Cause when you're up there, you can see the mountains over through there every morning. Mm -hmm. Put new tires on it. Mm -hmm. Get you a tune up kit for it. Yeah. Your brother had some of the parts, I believe. The problem with this is, is it's too big for the wheel. See, I've already been working on it. What's your solution to that? Putting it in the lathe. I'm going to show you the lathe. Show me. Since our other lathe perished in the fire, I got a new lathe now. Amazing fans actually sent us a whole box of safety equipment. For what are you doing, Hud? Specifically for this lathe. Right tire. Are you working on your tire? Look at him. I'm telling you, he has that kid right there is going to be ten times worse than Brax ever thought about doing. But he's also doing it with a. We're in trouble with this one. What's wrong with it? Check these out. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Ooh. You bet you are even polarized, my favorite kind. Cute. Yeah, look at you. You sexy beast. Mm. I know. I was going that way. So, what I'm going to do is cut this down a bit. In there. So the bearings don't come out. I was going to take the bearing out and stick it through and then put the bearing back over it, but i got to do it the whole way.
Where's that hang on? Bye! Yeah, turn around. Professionalism. Hey, yeah, uh, Where's the bolt, Rex? Right There's one right here. I see. You got it, honey? Yeah. Woohoo! Love it. There, Dad. Putty's got the one you need. Oh, thank you, bud. <laughs> Aww. You're a sweetie. You are such a little man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where are your manager? What are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa. Yeah, you better be careful. Damn. Thank you. There you go, Brax. You got your new wheel on your lawnmower. Hot, 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 hotty. <laughs> this one. I found it. You found it? Yeah. You going to put it back oh, on? Sweet. Oh, yeah, look at that, baby. Yeah, probably want 500 for this thing. Yeah, Poppy's on crack, ain't <laughs> Hi, Holly. Oh, well, Poppy got on cracking. What are you doing? Oh, this. How do you go to the or what? Uh, What's the hold up there, Minnie Me? <laughs> what are you do? Oh, look at him. He's trying to put the wheel on. Has Brax got school tomorrow? Uh, he's got a field trip tomorrow. He's got a yard tomorrow. He's going to the zoo tomorrow morning. He's going to ride with Armani. You going to mow when you get back or what? You got a big yard to mow tomorrow. Hey, this is your business. I'm not doing it. He's still a kid, too. So you need that old black truck to pull this thing around, Brett. He got him a new trailer up there. And he's going to help this. help that. You're gonna help Brax? No, you no. help me. You want me to help you? Been running, or yet, been two days. Mm -hmm. now, it's about wore out, but it did come back on. It may have just got hot. Help me, Mom. Okay, what do you want me to do, baby? Um, what can I do for you? Like you want me to. Oh, I don't have to. I'll spill another ginger no. boy. Tell me, Brax, what you got going on? What is your new business endeavors? Mowing. Mowing? Uh -huh. All kinds of landscape, or are you sticking strictly to mowing? You're going to mow her down? you going to put some He's nice decorations? Three. Well, he just priced, he just priced mowing hers today. I'm going to hire him to do our stuff. Yeah, he told me 20 bucks. No, he told me 90 90 He did the whole farm He's been talking to his daddy. For $90, he'd do the whole farm, he said. The whole farm? Honey, you're selling yourself short. Hey, shut up. <laughs> I thought I would help him price the next place. Hey, fair, it's fair. I'm all about fairness. That's We're going to pay him what it's worth. Well, how do you, about, I thought about how do you go about it. pricing yard? I thought about letting him mow it one good time for that, and then he'd be like, I want to do it again. You when know, it comes like a to, lesson, you know? Well, yeah. When it comes to mowing, is it, yeah, baby. Yeah, jump. Is it price per acre or is it price per? Well, it's just really just price the yard. Just time. You get a look at it. How often it needs mowed and all that. And... All right, turn the wheel. Make sure it's good to go. Tire. Ooh, look at your hair, baby. Mommy, You're the man, Brax. I'm not that tired. The bearings is plumb out of these, wasn't they? Where's the other one? Other Look, you got him some black rims. Ooh, love it. Hey, you have to paint the black. The back one's black. Black one? You gonna paint that hood? What color should it be? Uh, black. Good job. The kid's just like me. <laughs> wait, 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 key. Where's the key? Oh no. oh, no. We have to hide them because you take them. Yeah, we've got to get Brax. I guess he's got a field trip now, but once he gets back, he's got to go straight to work. We're going to try to load both these up on his little trailer. Um, show him, go show his trailer. Let's go look at it, Brax. I'm going to try 
Braxy's trailer. You like Braxy's trailer? What's that? Hey, oh, Braxtonator. This is it? Show uh -oh. me your trailer, Brax. Ooh, I like it. It's real nice. It's definitely cleaner than your room. This is a gorilla trailer. It's just, it's not a big expensive one. It's just a cheapo, but I mean, hey. what can you expect for 10 years old? I mean, I would have given anything to have something like this at 10. I'd give anything to have this at 20. <laughs> hey, I'd have, took, I'd have took it at 30. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We're just now getting to the point. I'm 32 and I'm happy to My have it. My ain't got wood on it, half of it. We found him a little mini truck, something that he could just, because everything like if he's got to go far and mow a yard or something like town or something me or his papa can take him or his mama but um if he's just right here around you know around the farm or one of his, his big yards down here um we're just gonna let him use his mini truck would be cool if you had like a little flatbed like old ford flatbed or something that um for the ford aerostar we should put a flatbed on that thing you like just a, drive them up on there and then. I like a deck view. Yep. That'd be pretty cool, huh? Yeah. One more. How's that thing work? It kind of goes on there, puts the e bolts in there. Or you could use that lawnmower to pull your other lawnmower and your weed or your stuff. <laughs> Put there your you wagon go. on the back. That's his hitch for it. Brax, that's a big, that's a big step. Big step for sure. I'm a little nervous. I didn't have my first business until i was i don't know 20 26 six, yeah definitely wasn't 10 was it that old no we was 23 24 yeah yep we about that you're Red right peter yeah 23 yeah, Hud. i reckon Let's honey see. get your child He's, I'm done with him. That's your kid. That's your old kid, baby. <laughs> Let's see her, Brax. Oh, dang, that's pretty sweet. This goes on there and what holds it? All right, guys, if you want a good deal on lawnmower, they really took care of Braxton today. Which is Brax. I mean, you got to understand that. But if you were, seriously though, uh, regardless if you're 10 years old or you're 40 years old or 70 years old, they will take care of you down there. I've been using them since I was, you know, old enough to buy a more parts. And Athens Lawn and Garden's always been in town. It's a family owned, it's a family owned business. His dad ran it before him. So they're good people and uh definitely give them a call you guys that's gonna finish off today's video i'm gonna help braxton finish his lawnmower up sounds like he's got a field trip in the morning and then uh he's got to get to work but guys i'll see you on the next video love y'all see you later